French science fiction is a substantial genre of French literature. It remains an active and productive genre which has evolved in conjunction with Anglophone science fiction and other French and international literature. History Proto-science fiction before Jules Verne As far back as the 17th century, space exploration and aliens can be found in Serrano de Bergerac's Comical History of the States and Empires of the Moon 1657 and Bernard Le Bavier de Fontenelle's Entretien sur la pluralite des mondes Voltaire's 1752 short stories Micromegas and Plato's Dream are particularly prophetic of the future of science fiction. Also worthy of note are Simon Tissot de Patot's Voyages et Aventures de Jacques Mass, 1710, which features a lost world, La Vie, Les Aventures et Le Voyage de Groenland du Reverend Perry Cordelier Pierre de Messinger, 1720, which features a hollow earth, Louis Sebastian Mercier's Land 2440, 1771, which depicts a future France, and Nicolas Edme Restif de la Breton's La Découverte Australe par un homme volant, 1781, notorious for his prophetic inventions. Other notable proto-science fiction authors and works of the 18th and 19th century include Jean-Baptiste Cousin de Grainville's Le Dernier Homme 1805 about the last man on Earth. Historian Félix Bodin's Le Roman de l'Avenir and Émile Souvestre's Le Monde tel qui sera 1846, two novels which try to predict what the next century will be like. Louis Geoffroy's Napoleon et la Conquête du Monde, 1836, an alternate history of a world conquered by Napoleon. C. I. de Fontenay's Star outside de Cassiope, 1854, and Olaf Stapledon like chronicle of an alien world and civilization. Astronomer Camille Flammarion's La Pluralite des Mondes Habits, 1862, which speculated on extraterrestrial life. Henry de Parvel's An Inhabitant of the Planet Mars. Originally a hoax in the French newspaper Le Pays in 1864, about a Colorado oil prospector which find a meteorite with a mummy inside that is believed to come from Mars, it was picked up by Jules Verne's publisher who released it in an expanded book version in 1865. Achille Arod's Voyage to Venus 1865, a story about humans who travel to Venus in an interplanetary rocket-powered spaceship, where they meet an utopian society. However, modern French science fiction, and arguably science fiction as a whole, begins with Jules Verne (1828–1905), the author of many of the classics of science fiction. Topic after Jules Verne, the first few decades of French science fiction produced several renowned names of literature. Not only Jules Verne, but also Louis Boussinard, a successor of Verne. Didier de Chauzy, who wrote Ignis 1883, a novel where an inventor tries to tap the energy from the center of the Earth in a dystopian society dominated by technology. Charles Derens 1882 to 1930, who wrote novels like La Piaple du Pole 1907, The People of the Pole, where explorers finds a secret alien society of technologically advanced reptilian humanoids who have evolved in isolation from the rest of the world for millions of years. Arnold Gallopin, creator of Dr. Omega 1906. Paul Divoy, author of the Vernian Voyages Eccentrics and creator of Pulp Heroes La Vareda and Dr. Mystère André Laurie, another successor of Verne. John Antoine Now, who won the first Prix Goncourt in 1903 for his science fiction novel Enemy Force. Georges La Forêt and Henri de Graffini, who sent their heroes explore the solar system in Les Aventures Extraordinaires d'une savante russe 1888, Gustave La Rouge, author of Le Prisonnier de la Planète Mars 1908, and Le Mystérieux Docteur Cornelius 1913. Albert Robita, a writer and an artist, arguably the «father» of science fiction illustration. Maurice Renard, a Wellesian writer, author of Le Docteur Learn 1908, Le Peril Blue 1910, and Les Mains d'Orlac The Hands of Orlac, 1920, J. H. Rosny Ain, born in Belgium, the father of modern French science fiction, a writer also comparable to H. G. Wells, who wrote the classic Les Zypas 1887, and Le Mort de la Terre 1910. .After H. G. Wells the time machine was translated into French by Henry D. Davray in 1895 as the first of his works, soon followed by other translations of his stories, influencing French science fiction writers such as Maurice Renard. World War I brought an end to this early period. 
where the rapid development of science and technology during the late 19th century motivated the optimistic works of these early science fiction authors, the horrors of industrialized warfare and specifically the application of advanced technologies in such a destructive manner made many French authors more pessimistic about the potential of technological development. Between the two world wars, Rosny Ain published his masterpiece Les Navigateurs de l'Infini in which he invented the word astronautic". There were a few notable new authors during the period, Regis Messac, for Quinzinzingeli José Moselli, for La Fin d'Ia Jacques Spitz, for La Guerre des Mouches René Thévenin for Chasseurs d'Hommes and Sur l'autre face du monde the latter under a pseudonym. Topic After World War II Until the late 1950s, relatively little French science fiction was published, and what was published was often very pessimistic about the future of humanity, and frequently was not advertised as science fiction at all. René Barjavel's Ravage and Pierre Boulle's Planet of the Apes are widely known examples. This period of decrease of French science fiction abbreviated SF is known to many as a «golden age» of English language and particularly American science fiction. When French science fiction began reappearing strongly after World War II, it was the themes and styles of Anglophone science fiction which served as an inspiration for new works. The first genre magazine, Fiction, at first a translation of the American magazine of fantasy and science fiction, began appearing in 1953. The major genre imprint of the 1950s and 60s publishing translations of American novels was Le Rayon Fantastique published by Hachette and Gallimard, and edited by George Gallet and Stephen Spreel. Nevertheless, Le Rayon Fantastique helped begin the careers of a number of native authors, Francis Carsack, Philippe Kerville, Daniel Drode, Michel Dury, writing under the pseudonym of Albert Higgin, Gerard Klein, Natalie Henneberg during 1951, publisher Fleuve Noir initiated Anticipation, a paperback series devoted mostly to French authors which released a steady series of pulp-like novels. Among its authors were, Pierre Barbet, Richard Bessier B.R. Bruss, aka Roger Blondel, pseudonyms of René Bonifoy, André Karoff, Jimmy Guyu, Gerard Klein, writing under the pseudonym of Jules Dargier, Maurice Limet, André Ruellen, writing under the pseudonym of Kurt Steiner, Louis Thirion, Stefan W. U. L. René Barjavel, who wrote The Ice People in 1968, one of his most brilliant masterpieces. Later, many major names of French science fiction were printed first by that imprint. Another series, Presence du Future, was initiated during 1954 by publisher De Noël. Among its authors were, Jean-Pierre Andrivan Jean-Louis Curtis Gerard Klein Jacques Sternberg Jacques Valley, writing under the pseudonym of Jerome Serial during this era, there was very little mainstream critical interest for French SF. French cinema, however, proved to be more successful for science fiction. Jean-Luc Godard's 1965 film Alphaville, a thriller and satire of French politics, was the first major example of French new wave science fiction. Unlike American science fiction, space travel was not the major theme for the post-1968 French authors. A new generation of French writers, who had few memories of the horrors of the past two generations, were inspired by the transformation of France during the post-war era. Especially after May 1968, French SF authors wrote about political and social themes in their works. Authors like Michel Dury, Jean-Pierre Andrivan and Philippe Kerville began to attract acclaim for their redevelopment of a genre which, at the time, was still considered primarily a juvenile entertainment. During the 1970s, comics began to be important for French SF. Metal Hurlant, the French magazine that spun off the American magazine Heavy Metal, began developing the possibilities of science fiction as a source for comics. Graphic novels are now a major, if not the major, Outlet for French science fiction production today. During the 1980s, French authors began to consider science fiction as appropriate for experimental literature. The influence of postmodernism on literature and the development of cyberpunk themes catalyzed a new body of French SF. Near the end of the decade, the so called Lost Generation, represented by such writers as Claude Ekin, Michel Pagel, Jean Marc Lini, or Roland C. Wagner. At present, French SF is particularly well represented by graphic novels, and a number of titles are printed annually. As in most of the developed world, magazine culture has decreased dramatically because of the Internet, but a number of French SF magazines remain in print, including Bifrost, Galaxies and Solaris. Despite the space opera revival of the beginning of the 1990s Erdl, Serge Lehman, Pierre Bordage, Laurent Jennifer, the influence from English-language science fiction and movies has diminished considerably since the Lost Generation 
While the influence of animation, video games and other international science fiction traditions German, Italian, has increased. The influence of Japanese manga and anime has also been particularly noticeable during recent years for graphic formats. Other notable French science fiction authors, post-World War II G. J. Arnaud Edel Pierre Bordage Serge Brusselot Richard Canal Maurice G. Dantec Michel Demuth Sylvie Dennis Thierry Di Rollo Dominique Douai Catherine Defour Jean-Claude Dunyach Claude Ecken Jean-Pierre Fontana Yves Freemian Laurent Jennifer Philippe Goy Johann Heliot Joel Hussan Emmanuel Jouan Serge Lehman Jean-Marc Lini Xavier Maumejon Michel Pagel Pierre Pilot, writing under the pseudonym of Pierre Serain Julia Verlanger writing under the pseudonym of Jules Thomas Elizabeth Vonneberg Roland C. Wagner Daniel Walter Bernard Werber Joel Wintrebert Topic Literary Awards The Prix Rosny Ain is an annual award for French language science fiction other awards for French language science fiction, non-exclusively, include or have includes the Prix Apollo (1972 to 1990), the Prix Bob Moran (1999), the Grand Prix de l'Imaginaire (1974), the Prix Julia Verlanger (1986), the Prix Jules Verne (1927 to 1933, 1958 to 1963), the Prix Ozone (1977 to 2000), and the Prix Tour Eiffel (1997 to 2002). 